Arcblock just had a massive pump, let's analyze it. So about a couple days ago, we had this massive pump from about 220 all the way to about 380, and since then we've actually retraced back to about 320. Now what I think is going to happen is we're probably going to retrace back to this all previous all-time high of around 290, because that's what seems to happen every single time ArcBlock pumps as of recent. We always retrace to the previous all-time high. So. Uh, what that would look like is we would probably retrace back to around this line right here, this previous all-time high, maybe even a little bit lower. It depends. This has basically happened every single time ArcBlock has had a massive pump. So right here in February, we had this massive pump to about 228, and then we retraced all the way back to about 130, right? Basically where that previous all-time high was. And then we consolidated, pumped again all the way to about 302, and then retraced all the way back to that previous all-time high once again consolidated and now once again we've had another massive pump all the way to 383.90 even and i believe we're going to retrace back to this all-time high right here maybe a little bit lower as well it depends on the market uh, what bitcoin does but uh, that's going to be the short-term price target is going to be this previous all-time high now, looking at the pattern that ArcBlock is making right now, um, it's looking very good. You see that we are kind of following this trend line that I've uh, outlined in this, this blue line right here. Um, we've been touching this line every single time we've pumped, right? Every single time we consolidate and then we touch that line, we follow with a massive pump to the upside. Uh, and that's, that trend's been continuing for a very long time now. So I think what might happen, right, is we're, we might actually consolidate along this all-time high and then eventually touch this line once again and then that's going to be where we see that next pump once again. In terms of downside risk, obviously there's this previous all-time high area, so about that line, but I do believe if we do get another Bitcoin crash, maybe back down to about 55, 52K, then we can definitely see our block retrace back to this very strong support zone right here. Uh, I believe this is a, a very strong support zone that's been holding for uh, past basically two months now. And if we break that, then the next support zone will be that 140 area, which is one of the strongest support zones for ArcBlock. I can always cover my price predictions, right? How far it will go up, but I want to also cover the downside risk for you guys as well, because I believe that's a very important thing to understand in cryptocurrency. Knowing how far your coin could potentially drop if we get another crash, I think is very important. It's a very important concept to understand. Just looking for areas of support previously. And these are the two areas that I have identified that could be areas of future support if we get another drop. And looking at the upside potential, ArcBlock is, of course, one of my most bullish coins. In a bearish bull run scenario, I do believe we will still hit a $1 billion to $2 billion market cap. That's basically a 3 to 6x from today's price, um, and that would put ArcBlock at about $10 to $20. Now, most likely, I believe we're hitting anywhere from $4 billion to $6 billion market cap, which is a $40 to a $60 dollar arc block that is still more than a 10x 20x from today's price and in the most bullish scenario i think we can see anywhere from a 10 billion to 20 billion dollar market cap arc block putting at, at 100 to 200 dollars of course that's very very bullish um, that's if arc block becomes the next solana um, which I don't believe could happen in this bull run, but you never know. Uh, in a full bull run, a lot of these altcoins do very, very unpredictable things, so it's definitely a possibility. This information right here was when I covered ArcBlock about two months ago, and you can see back then it was still a $200 million market cap coin. Now it's sitting at around 400-ish million, so it's already done a 2x. And I think that with the good tokenomics, right, with the uh, cutting edge architecture that ArcBlock possesses with the uh, future trends that ArcBlock sits in and also with the experienced leadership and also the massive, massive VC backing uh, of ArcBlock, I think this project is very, very bullish. Just looking at the trends, right, because this is something I really look, like to look at for every single crypto project. You can see the narratives for the bull run, uh, ArcBlock hits a lot of them, right? So we hit interoperability, we hit AI, we hit modularity, Web3 Layer 1, and big data. 
cloud infrastructure. These are some of the strongest bull run narratives for the 2024-2025 crypto cycle and ARK block positions itself within all of these narratives. I also wanted to take a look at some of the data for ARK block so you can see a market cap of 317 million, fully diluted of 600 million, so it's around 50% uh, circulating supply. And you can see the volume is decent. Uh, you see we did hit that all-time high of $3.76. You can see that its social media followers on Twitter are growing. Uh, its Telegram users are growing as of recently in 2024. And you can just see that this project as a whole is growing in every single aspect. You can see the holders are growing as well. So uh, 23,000 holders now. Uh, it's basically been going on an uptrend for the past couple of months. And I also want to take a look at the holders, right? So who is actually holding this coin right now? Um, I believe these two are on chain, so we don't have to worry about those. And we can look at some of these large wallets that are holding ARC block. Uh, you can see that some of these are exchanges, right? You have OKX, you have Gate.io, um, you have BitCub, right? You have Gate.io, Gate.io, BitGet. We also have a lot of these larger whales in the project as well. Like I said in my previous videos, I can easily see ArcBlock becoming a $10, $20 coin in the near future, maybe around early 2025, and I can definitely see that happening even sooner as well. So that would put ArcBlock at about $1 billion to $2 billion market cap. I think we can pretty easily hit that. And just looking at where that would put us on the chart, you can see right here is about $10 to $12. I think that's going to be um, my first take profit target. I think, uh, and after that, I, I plan to actually scale out a lot of my holdings because at the end of the day, you don't want to hold the bag on any of these projects for that matter. You know, as good as ArcBlock is, I still think it is prone to dumping very hard in the bear market. So uh, be prepared to have your take profit targets and have a selling plan as well. I can make a video on how to scale out profits uh, if you guys want to see that video because I think that's probably one of the most important aspects for crypto investing. But you can see right here we have a price target of $20. Uh, that's definitely a target that I would be comfortable selling a large majority of my holdings at. So I think this area is probably a good sell zone. But you can see, even from today's price, we are still quite a ways away from uh, even hitting this $10 mark. This is the long-term price potential, and I've already covered the short-term price potential in the form of these two consolidation support areas. Uh, so that's gonna be it for the video today, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, I know the past few days I've been kind of inconsistent with my uploading. I've been extremely busy in my personal life. I've had so many events in the past couple of days. It's been kind of crazy, but things are slowing down now. So I think I can be uh, more consistent with my uploading on YouTube. Um, so let me know what videos you guys would enjoy, right? Let me know what coins you want me to cover. Um, I'm thinking about making a top five AI coin video. So if you guys want to see that, then let me know in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.